नमस्कार माय नेम इज सुदर्शी घोष एंड वी आर कमिंग बैक टू द टिकर कैड एंड वी विल नाउ स्टडी द लाइट डिपेंडेंट रजिस्टर टुडे ऑन टिकर कैड एंड वी विल सी इट्स बिहेवियर वी विल क्रिएट वन सर्किट एंड देन वी विल फिनिश आर टुडे इज लेसन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट वेरी इजी इज वेरी सी सिंपल ईयर वील हैव टू गो एंड क्रिएट and we'll go to the circuits fine so the circuit is now going to open as we can see this is the working area and these are where the basic components are there you will have to type ldr photo register so the ldr is basically a photo register so this is how it looks like and uh, in order to check whether how it works so we'll just see the multimeter and uh, we will place the multimeter here and then we will zoom in properly we we'll just put the ldr properly and we will zoom in. okay so and we will set the multimeter to measure the resistance so instead of make measuring current or voltage we will measure the resistance So we want to see first of all how it functions. So we will connect this terminal one to the negative terminal. We will connect this uh, terminal two to the positive terminal, just for the sake of understanding. So we'll just take this and we will connect it here. And we'll connect it this way, this way, and this way. So we can make it beautiful. Just to make it aesthetically correct, and pleasing, we can simply do this so that it looks nicer. And then, when we run this, we can see that there is this particular okay resistance. This is one eighty kilo ohm, which is saying one eighty kilo ohm. And as we actually go forward, you see as the intensity of light is increasing. the resistance is decreasing so as you can see in the ldr as the intensity of light increases the resistance is going to decrease okay so we have to we have understood this and now we want to create a circuit on whether we'll have to make it sure that uh, we are able to implement the light dependent resistor in a simple circuit first of all so we'll try to do it in a simple circuit we can remove the uh we can remove the multimeter and we can here we'll put the battery now we'll just put it uh, uh, take a battery from here all right fine we have taken a battery we can reverse the polarity of the battery by doing this and we are going to connect the negative terminal to this particular area okay so then we have got the terminal 1 so what we are going to do is we will put a bulb here this is just to the light bulb you can put a light bulb here okay we we'll just zoom in properly right we have enough of we can zoom in properly right so we have got the light bulb here so this will act as the resistance to the circuit and then we'll connect the terminal one from here to this terminal of the bulb okay and we'll connect it here we'll connect the terminal of the bulb to the other terminal of the battery as we can complete the circuit now fine so let us try to simulate this circuit let us see what happens as you can as you know very well that there will be very high resistance when there is no low no light entering this particular resistor as you increase the intensity of the light you can see here that the bulb starts glowing you can very easily understand that and we can also try to implement a let me see a motor here okay 
we will just take a DC motor we will try to also see uh, how the DC motor functions in case we also add that to the circuit okay so we will just put it here we will just remove this particular circuit now and we will connect this terminal of the bulb to one terminal of the motor here and we will connect the other terminal to the battery. So as we can see here, now if I just start the simulation, as you can see, there will be very high resistance here. So therefore, the neither the bulb is working, so the motor is working a bit slowly. But now you see as we can increase the intensity of light falling on the LDR or the light dependent resistor is also called photoresistor in the Tinkercad language and we are here we can see that the motor is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction of course because the positive terminal here the red terminal is connected to the black terminal here so if it was other way around it would also work that way okay so let us verify this if I can actually do the swapping properly we'll just do the swapping properly we'll just remove this particular line okay so we'll connect this to the black terminal here and we'll connect this red to the red terminal here let us see what happens it coming here it coming back to the red connect can make it beautiful just adjust it properly okay and then we can run the simulation as you can see here and now the motor is rotating in the clockwise direction and as we decrease the resistance by increasing the intensity of the light the speed of the motor is increasing thank you very much for attending this video if you are new to my channel please like share and subscribe and communicate this video to other people so that they can also learn from this channel thank you very much